This is Selene Yusuf. I'm about to embark on a meaningful adventure with one personal mission. Talk about inspiration! It's right in front of you. Eight stories, eight journeys. With GLOBE, the plan is to get scene zone. Most of you are used to seeing me in digital platforms, magazines, interviews. What we tend to forget nowadays is who we really are as people. As an artist, I see things in my own ways. When I paint, I like to portray the daily lives of people. And that's actually the plan here, to find an interesting subject for my art collection. Located at the tip of Northern Samar, in this perilous area where the San Bernardino Strait meets the Pacific Ocean, is Biri Island. The Biri rock formations have been here for centuries. They're like ancient modern art, carved by the elements, made better by time. This is perfect for my plan. I would like to welcome you aboard Philippine Airlines flight. To We're flying Philippine Airlines to Katarman, our gateway to the edge of the world, the beautiful Biri Island. I'm going to be 100% honest. I have never heard of Biri Island before. But I was so amazed at how out of this world the place was. As you can see, it's two beautiful rock formations right behind me. I think we're in the right place because this looks exactly like a painting. It's just so, I don't know how to explain, it's so majestic. I mean, you're walking through this castle of smooth rock. We have reached the top. I like to call this the peak because I can't go any higher than this. Look at it! Isn't it beautiful? So I came along these two fishermen, Alfie and Ray. Spearfishing is a crazy amount of work. Ito pong ginagamit namin. What's the name dyan? Pajak. Pajak? Opo. Ito po yung mas namin. In fairness, ang ganda. <laughs> and Lord, can I say, it's really a craft. It's an art on its own. These guys had to go look under the rocks and swim against the current, so it can be dangerous. I feel so energized just talking to Ray and Alfie. I can already imagine their faces on my canvas. So it's quite early in the morning and we are volunteering for the Beery Initiative. As you can see, the divers are there getting ready and we are going out to the ocean to help restore the coral. Had a nice chat with Marlu, who's a, a dive master, and he got to speak about how he went from being a fisherman to joining the Beery Initiative. Kasi pag fisherman ka, misan hindi ka makakuha ng maraming isda, misan konti lang, misan wala. We are about to drop the Beery Buds down on the... I must say, out of all the dives I've been through, I've never seen anything like this. It looks like a beehive, but made of cement with holes. And it's actually what the fish can use as a sanctuary or as their place to live in. Marami na siyang corals. Siyempre, madaming isdang lalapit. Kung pinakasangkwari niya, magkakalat din yung isda niyo. Marami matutulungan na may isda. Marlu plays a part in the transformation of fishing tradition in Biri. He could very well be my next painting subject. As you can see behind me, there's this really, really long walkway. Where does it lead me to? Well, the Bell at Rock Formation. The first thing we saw actually getting there was mangroves just surrounding us. Vamos. <gasps> it's actually composed of seven different rock formations. We got to climb to the top as well, where you could see the entire view. Guys, say hi! It's just so peaceful when you get up there. We're at the top of the Balat Rock Formation. And those are the pools. It's crystal clear. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. I think I'm about ready to jump in there. And there I got to meet all these little cute kids. And they were just playing around with me. And I got to, <laughs> to scare them for a bit. I ran after them. They thought I was the big bad wolf. I really found inspiration here. It just gets quieter. You don't think it can get quieter, but it does. I need this silence, this moment of clarity to decide whose portrait I'll paint for my collection. All the people I came across were beautiful people. And you know, they're the kind of people you just want to be around all day. 
I think I like to paint kids a lot because they have this certain like nonchalant innocence about them. They live in this magical world. Every great work of art starts from a vision, a plan to create, and a conscious decision to commit to the plan. Being with them and discovering the life they're shaping up for themselves and their community reminded me of why I pursue my art. And I can't wait to bring their stories to life. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be the first to find out about the plan.